waiting for you now in the group. So, step one, the upfront contract. The desired effects are to break the pact the prospects have made before your meeting. The pact that says they're not going to be buying anything today. The rehearsed excuses and alibis that they're going to give you as to why they can't make a decision yet. To replace it with a new three-way collaborative pact between all three of you as a unit. And to make it clear to them that they're safe saying no to you so that they don't try to sell you and think about it at the end. To make them abandon their established and practiced three-step buying process of one, mislead you, two, get every piece of information out of you they possibly can, preferably confirmed by email, and three, to immediately and permanently then go into hiding. Step two, find pain and spin it. Design effects to produce the desire for change, to create urgency, to act now, to not any longer to end their pain, to get them persuading themselves because real persuasion takes place when the prospect is talking about their pain, not when you're talking. 80% of buying decisions are made to eliminate pain and to do it quickly. Step three, qualify them as a capable and willing buyer because what's the point of taking somebody on a tour that creates excitement if that person can't buy even if they want to. The design effects here, only people who can buy today if they want to get a tour. You save a bunch of wasted time each week. You also get all possible objections that may not come out, you might have encountered them otherwise until the end and it's too late, you get them out now. And it also gives you time to weaken them also gives you time to be sure there'll be no surprise stalls, alibis or polite lies sold to you later. Also to make the sale far more likely to happen today than any other time in the future. Step four, story sell. The Orlando story, the Grove story, the BTI story, the benchmark story. Desire effects so that they lose all false beliefs. should be investing, what they should be investing in, their incorrect, incorrect perceptions of developers and management companies, and to install new beliefs around all of these things. So they start considering long-term value and not just short-term price tag. Also to further remove objections that would otherwise lurk hidden just underneath the surface and then get revealed to you at the end as reasons to give it some more thought. Step five. Fulfill your tour. To prove you can eliminate all of their pain, remove all of their problems, remove the problems they don't want and create all the results they do want by matching every feature of the Globe Resort to discovered pain. To satisfy their wish list, to sound and feel like it's their own unique tour and not some standard dog and pony show that every prospect gets. To give them a feeling of relief, even before they're an owner, so they already feel their pain dissolving and their pleasure growing. To get their desire level so high that they decide they want to buy even before they've seen the numbers and the financials. Step six, trial close and get them asking for the best deal for a sale today. Desired effects to make absolutely sure we've left them with no doubt that the Grove is their only real choice if they want to quickly and permanently eliminate their pain and to bring about what they most want to be, do and have in their lives. To put any remaining doubts or nerves to bed. To build new beliefs and fresh positive emotions towards investing. Act now, trust us to get them to tell us what the next step is, if it all feels right and makes total sense to them. To ask them, on a scale of one to 10, how ready are you to move forward? 
That's the question which gives you reliable feedback on how well you've carried out steps one to six. And then to re-establish what they need to get to a 10. Then to fulfill those gaps, get them to a 10, subject to the financials making sense. Having that all important feeling of certainty that this is the right thing for them and that they can't risk losing out on a genuine bargain. To gently close them before the close by showing them the owner testimonials. To then make them ask us for the price, the rental income model, the incentives and the best deal we can give them by asking them a very powerful very cleverly framed question that will get straight through the guard of even the most battle-hardened buyer, and that's in the pack. To have the clothes set up perfectly before the price is even discussed, and for them to be in the perfect mood and state to want to be able to buy now with certainty, pride, and zero hesitation. Step seven, they buy. We don't close, they do. When they ask how all the numbers work, which they will after step six, you follow a very simple yet powerful process that gets them to tell you they do want to take the next step, providing the price is within their budget, the deposits, stage payments, funding and timescales all work for them. Then, you present a specially designed three-stage close that builds desire and value with each step and results in them telling you they want to go ahead because they believe all of the numbers, they believe in our motives, the motives behind the incentives, they trust us, they feel certainty, they can afford five grand today and from the way you've introduced our in-house funding service they're ready to meet Justine and her team. They're ready to complete the LLC forms, which you have a supply of to get the ball rolling, if that's the way they're going. All of this works so well 